Okay, in this video we're going to talk about something called vertical translations. So when you're talking about vertical translations, you're talking about what's happening on the y-axis of your graph. So if we graphed, you know, a straight line or something like that, vertical translation is talking about changing the place of the y-intercept, changing the place where the line crosses the y-axis and moving it maybe up there or moving it down there. So what we're going to do first is we'll graph something without a vertical translation and then we'll apply the vertical translation and see what happens in our graph. And so we're going to start with just, I think, our basic parabola y equals x squared. So we're going to graph that. The easiest way, I think, to do that, if you haven't memorized what the shape looks like, which you don't need to because it's not very difficult to graph it, is we're going to make our xy chart. Think up some values for x. You for sure want to have maybe one that's negative, put one at zero, and have at least one that's positive. And then we're going to think, if x equals negative one, then y equals, replace x with the value we've given it, in this case negative 1, y equals negative 1 squared, negative 1 squared just means negative 1 times negative 1, negative times a negative is a positive, 1 times 1 is 1. And then, if we replaced x in our original equation with 0, 0 squared is just 0 times 0, which is 0. And if we replaced x in our original equation by positive 1, we would have positive 1 squared, which is positive 1 times positive 1, which is just 1. And so, so let me move this up a little bit, and let's make that into a graph. And the important thing to remember when you're graphing a shape like this is that you want all of your lines to be nice and smooth. You don't want any hard edges. So we've got our our x-axis and our y-axis. The chart we made told us we've got a point at negative 1, positive 1. Remember that's xy point, just like xy from our chart. We've got a point at 0, 0, and we've got a point at 1, 1. So let's drop those points on our grid. Negative 1 in the x direction, somewhere over here, positive 1 in the y, we get a point around there, got another point at 0, 0, that's called the origin, 0, 0, and positive 1, positive 1, positive 1 in the x direction, positive 1 in the y direction. And then connect the, connect the dots in a nice smooth curve, and you see we've got a parabola. So let's Notice up here, I had my original equation was, let's get rid of this stuff, y equals x squared. So whenever you see y equals x squared, that is the basic formula for a parabola that sits at 0, 0, and is symmetric. The y-intercept is at 0, and our x-intercept, the only place is really touching the x-axis, is right here at the origin as well. So let's take a look at how the graph of y equals x squared is different if we were to apply a vertical translation. So if I was to say 4 plus y equals x squared, that would be a graph with a vertical translation because I've added a number that is just a constant, right? It doesn't, it's not associated with the x variable, it's not associated with the y variable. And what I mean by that is, I didn't add on 4x or 4y. I just added on 4 by itself. So let's take a look and see what happens to our xy chart. If this time we're replacing, we'll do the same x's, and this time our y equation is y equals x squared. So what I'm actually going to do first is kind of a sneaky trick. I don't like that 4 being on that side. Because I want an equation that says y equals something, not 4 plus y equals something. So what's the opposite of adding 4 to that side? Be subtracting 4. 
So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so my negative 4 and my positive 4 will cancel out, and I will just be left with y equals x squared minus 4. So if x is negative 1, now I've got negative 1 squared minus 4. So negative 1 squared, negative 1 times negative 1 would be positive 1 minus 4. 1 minus 4 would just be negative 3. When x is 0, I would have 0 minus 4. That would be negative 4. And if x was 1, I would have 1 minus 4, which is also negative 3. So let's come back to our graph, and we've got points now, negative 1, negative 3, 0, 4, and 1, negative 3. So let's plot those points on our graph in a different color, and then let's take a look at what our new graph looks like. So we've got negative 1 is over here, can you see that? Yes. And negative 3, point right there, 0, negative 4, I forgot my negative. So 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, point down here, and 1, negative 3, 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Okay, so now we've got a parabola that lives down here. So before we had y equals x squared, that's the black graph, this one. Now we've got y equals x squared minus 4, or 4 plus y equals x squared, it means, the, it means the same thing. So, what did that 4 really do? Well, if you'll notice, this point is 1, 2, 3, 4 units down from the original point we started with. This point is 1, 2, 3, 4 units down from the original point we had up here at 0, 0. And this point is 1, 2, 3, 4 four units down from our original point up here. So what we've done, y equals x squared minus 4, or 4 plus y equals x squared, same thing. All it does is takes your entire original graph and moves it down four units down the y-axis. One, two, three, four. So this is just vertical translation. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to talk about horizontal translations, then we'll get into vertical and horizontal transformations, and then there'll be a few videos at the end where you'll have something like y minus 4 equals x minus 2, we make that 2, x minus 2, and we'll have, you know, vertical translations, horizontal translations, everything together. We might have some reflections as well. So the next video will be, I think it's going to be horizontal translations, so I will see you guys then. Bye.